Agents don't want to make calls. Most of them, yeah. They're scared to death. We've probably had seven or eight agents that started onboarding or went through onboarding with us. The second it came to the time to make the calls, boop, out the door. And guess what? Just went over this in a, in a uh, sales meeting yesterday. Pulled up numbers from the last two months for our team, we have leaderboards. Pulled up the numbers for the last 60 days. Agent number one and agent number two who made the most calls and the most texts in the last 60 days are also the agents number one and number two with the most closings. Coincidence? I think not. <laughs> Precisely. Precisely, my dear Watson. You make the calls, they answer the phone, you write the offer, you get them under contract. You That's how you do this thing, this real estate thing. But, seriously, make the calls, leads to appointments, appointments leads to offers written, offers written leads to offers accepted. He who has the most at bats typically wins, right? Because the more at bats you have, the better you get at fine tuning your swing. And you, you get sick and tired of striking out, so you tweak it a little bit. Next thing you know, you're hitting a single. Next thing you know, you're hitting a double. Next thing you know, you realize how you can hit a triple. Next thing you know, you can hit a home run. Now you realize, wow, I know how to hit all four things. I can do four different things that are going to lead to success in this industry. That was profound. I don't know what the f it meant. <laughs> it meant that you have to pick up one step at a time yeah. and then... I can learn to hit a single, learn to hit a double, now I can hit a home run, but guess what? Not every time's a home run. You gotta be able to hit single, 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 and guess what? You single after single after single is each call, right? And you keep pushing runners, you keep hitting singles, you're gonna eventually score runs. And they're gonna keep pushing them and they're gonna keep going in from third base to home, third base to home. Well, guess what? That's just like the deals that are gonna happen. You keep making your calls, you keep filling your bucket with potential buyers and sellers, eventually the bucket has to overflow. But if you don't make the calls and keep filling the bucket, you got an empty bucket. And it's hard to sell a house to an empty bucket. Focus, being an agent requires more focus than most jobs, doesn't it? 100%. People think it doesn't because they're their own boss. No, it, the biggest myth ever, you, that you're gonna get into real estate to be your own boss and you're gonna have freedom. You can eventually have freedom, but to think you're gonna have freedom day one in this industry is you, you're out of your mind. You have to be willing to give up your freedom in order to gain your freedom. Put in the work now so you can be free later, but you're not gonna be free day one. If you are gonna be free day one, you are gonna be broke day one. Because if you don't put in the work, you will never get there. And focusing on the daily tasks, not getting overwhelmed. I, I probably talk to my agents more often than anything else. The number one topic is overwhelm and fear of burnout. Not fear, but potential burnout coming. And how do we fix that? So we try to put things into place that remove some of the tedious work that our agents are doing in order to give them some of that freedom back. They're unwilling to hold themselves accountable. So, and that's the same thing as being your own boss who's holding you accountable, so. Yeah, I mean, you need to be able to be held accountable to what you want to do, not to what like Mark's goal for you. Right. Like I don't set goals for my agents. Like. They've got to pick a goal, they've got to commit to that goal, and then I can hold them accountable to the steps that are going to help them get to that goal. But as, as one of my coaches says, you can't make an agent more productive. You can only facilitate a condition where they will choose to be more productive or not, period. An agent's only going to do what an agent's going to do. Why do agents think that they don't have to learn that?
It's funny, this popped up here recently. I go to a lot of conferences and it's not always because I'm learning something new, it's because I'm being reminded. I've learned enough in this industry over the last 10 years that I forgot probably more than I'll like ever remember, right? So a lot of times I go to these conferences, oh shit, gotta do that. Oh, gotta do that because guess what? Life happens. We get out of the we get out of our, our daily routine and we, we stop doing one thing that was working at one point. It's like, oh I gotta remember about that. And gotta go jump back over to it. And a lot of times agents just they think they've arrived. Like this is all there is to it. And then you go back and ask a question, well hey, did did you do this? No. Did you did you remember to do this? No, I forgot. I forgot. I forgot. Well, the more you're reminded, the less likely you'll forget. So I found that being, for me, the refresher is going to these conferences, being able to network with other agents, finding out what's working in their market, right? What's being successful, and then being reminded. Because one of my coaches says it, you don't need to learn more, you need to be reminded more.